just the back and forth momentum oh. swap that there's a big rock here comes Romero oh. but a pull counter there Bang! we go we have there a it is. champion ladies and gentlemen the Your best part Spurs. about uh, having an updated roster it gives us significantly more showcases Jalen Turner's also fighting at UFC 300 we're taking on Max Holloway who's also fighting at UFC 300 of course, the goal, the game plan with Jalen Turner is trying to keep our opponent at range, trying to work the best of our long range weapons and best of our ability. We're gonna hang out here on the outside. Sound get it read. He's facing off against Nada Montano. Of course, Jalen Turner is no stranger to tough bouts at lightweight. He's had a couple of nice bomb burners with uh, Dan Hooker. And I believe uh, Mateus Gamrot was another one. This guy is prone to catching my kicks. Not going to get to take me down. And Max is a very, 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 very tough out no matter what weight class. So it's going to be very important that we keep him at the end range of a lot of our kicks, a lot of our long weapons. He's catching almost everything we throw. Now we know that's kind of what we're Max boxing. Try to utilize the pinch a little bit. With that bout against the Hernando Mocano, I think uh, Jalen Turner has an opportunity to kind of shore up the holes grappling wise. I know he has a nice submission win on his record. And he does grapple when he needs to, so we're going to do the same thing. But to kind of handle Hernando Mocano, who's coming off of that victory, he was really, he just, but he kind of beat it was uh, Drew Dober, right? Tough, tough bout against uh, Drew Dober. It's going to put him right in there. It's going to put him right where he needs to be in terms of uh, not title contention. But it keeps him in the mix. So it's a very, very important bout for Jalen Turner. I'm going to have fun showcasing the counter for sure. And since, uh, and especially now that being able to showcase these guys post-patch with all the changes, you see a lot of players have been done to kind of slow down their style a little bit because they don't want to gas out. This guy's kind of taunting. This tells me he's a little bit frustrated because he hasn't really done much in the damage department. He's got a body teeth. He's probably going to look to sidestep soon. No, obviously go with a calf kick. I'm especially looking forward to the bout between Max Holloway and um, Justin Gucci. That bout, you guys have to, not even that bout, the entire card is actually crazy. There's what, what's it, like 10... Former U 10 champions total, like former or current. Basically, if you add all the numbers up together, we have look at the early prelims. Cody Garbrandt and Figueredo are opening the early prelims of that card. That's fucking insane. And for the PML belt, you have the former featherweight champion, former interim lightweight champion going at it. So another opportunity for Max Holloway to put himself. In the conversation, he does say that he wants a title shot, but I can see, you know, Justin Gaethje. I don't think Holloway would stay a lightweight if he loses, but I can see if Jalen Turner wins his bout and Justin Gaethje loses against Max Holloway, I could see a matchup between Jalen Turner and Justin Gaethje. And for Jalen Turner, the tarantula, Jalen Turner... I think a big part of what's going to work for him against uh, Hanaya Marcano is his hand fighting. His hand fighting, especially because he knows how to circle both sides. He's not just a southpaw that sticks to only circling on one side. He's very, very much so capable of alternating his angle of attack. He does switch stance pretty well. Show that, showcase that pretty well against Dan Hooker. Not going to touch. Okay. Go. Woo, body kick and body kick. Notice a little mix up. So I'll tell you guys this with uh, taller fighters, I feel like it's better to go uh, one two than front kick instead of one two uh, down house kick because everybody kind of knows it's coming. So if you actually throw out those uh, tall man threats, say your opponent, Ooh, he tried a little switch stance at action with Holloway. I see you. Came back. Body kick. Uh oh. Body kick again. Nice body kick. Keep the clinch. Oh, 
clean, clean clinch work with Jalen. Look at the body health on Max Holloway already. This is crazy. These, like, these are like part of one of like the two best uh, four stars in the lightweight division. You gotta be careful. You don't want to get blitzed by a combination attacking the body, so we're gonna circle out. And my main focus with Jalen Turner is I want to make sure that I don't get into any unnecessary changes with the price I landed. Punch, 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 kick. Go. Try to get some front kick. Blooding up the nose of Holloway. Body hope is dwindling. Ah, game. Trying to move, trying to move. Dude. <laughs> oh, man. That's an underutilized counter. It's an underutilized counter. No respect. But you got knocked the fuck out clean. Said no respect. A lot of people forget to use those lunges against the one-two heck it. Can't duck it. Lunging it is your best answer. That's a good way to kick off the Jalen Turner showcase. Let's see if we can get one more bout because we got a lot of fighters to showcase the UFC 300. We're just taking on <laughs> the BMF contenders, huh? Now, next is Justin Gaethje. Same game plan, same game plan. Trying to work as well as we can. At range, at range. Funny, I'm watching GOAT stream right now, too, and there's a whole thing with uh, him and Nas. Not on, uh, one of them wants to wager. One of them doesn't want to do all these stipulations and stuff, so I'm sure. Uh... Oh, shit! I was going to say. Mm. Yeah. Clinch you. Slow you down real quick. Oh! That was beautiful. That was well done. That open stance head kick. Oh my lord. He was ready. He was ready. Ah, Cream Kamako. Uh oh. Okay. Uh. Uh. The overhands are like the tall fighter's worst, <laughs> worst enemy. Overhands, ducking in general, and that rear hook mix up an open stance. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to avoid slipping to that side. We'll play, boom, just like that. We gotta slow down the tempo of our strikes to the Jalen Turner. Ooh, we, got, we gotta be really careful about that open side. We'll play that game too. Smart man. Be a little bit smarter. Try probably try to look to backstep next time I see it. Him throw a hook. Catholic lands. If he doubles up on the jab, we'll lunge to the outside of the lead leg. There we go. Checked one kick. Line up that left hand. Ooh. Hey! Not to that gate you. I'm trying, I'm seeing like the, the choice of the three piece combos that this person is going for. Notice when they kind of pause and stay right there in the pocket, they're waiting for me to throw a kick in, in boxing range. I do this a lot myself too. So I'm familiar with it. I mean, we did lunge away from a head kick against that uh, Max Holloway. I think our, our best bet is going to be trying to work the body off of our pose as well. You do have to be worried for uh, the uppercuts and whatnot, but Ooh. see the keys in on that. Come on, Jalen. Come on, Jalen. Set. Wait for the head kick. Double hooks. Mm. Try to the head kick. That's, that's three, four times. This person's just kind of tossing out that open stance head to land something. That's cool. It's cool. Usually people, too, like they're used to 
players trying to get one back with the head kick. So I'm going to start trying to throw the linear strike. I don't recall if this player uh, goes for like slip hooks or anything like that. So I'm going to see if I'm going to try to draw out that response from Jamie. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's see. One, two. Away from that. There we go. He's ducking. Half the plans. This three piece combo to try and go for. There we go. I want to see if I can use bait and kind of throw that heck if I want. There we go. Another half the plans. Be careful. Hey, that's your knob trap. <laughs> there we go, got him backing up. Head on the outside, Jerry. There we go. Mm-hmm, once more. Side sidestep, just in case. Open stance your body hook. Body uppercut. That's a cow. Watch out for the crowding. Probably gonna look for the head kick. Keep lunging, keep lunging. He's trying, he's trying, he's trying. Punch him up. Ooh, real hook. Gates' real hook, I think, is like level five. Gotta be careful with that damage. Got a front kick up the middle. Ooh, got a little bit too early. Woo! Just saw the flash of my health. Be careful. You're not respecting it. You're not respecting it. You're staying here. You're looking to force it. You're looking to force some shit. Nope. Mm-hmm. There we go. Beautiful softball game. Guess he didn't go for it. Ooh. It's tough. I had a <laughs> like, see when we're fighting the Holloway, I'm like, ah, right, you know, I know it's Holloway. He's not gonna have as much power as Jalen Turner. I mean, we did get dropped, if I recall correctly. But with Gaethje, it's gonna take just one, and Jalen's recovery is not exactly the best. So we gotta be really, really quick. We start to press a little bit. Press him with the one twos. Yeah, he doesn't recommend this. So when a player starts to just, they just start kind of throwing back. So he's like, he doesn't, he refuses to move. I mean, very Gaethje like, but he's waiting for one specific action. Like he's waiting for his one opportunity to pull. Fish for a big counter. See that looking at pull counter. Hang back. Hang back behind the strength of our jab. This is it. Yeah, this is the hook he's looking for. I'll leave with money right now. Now it's back, now it's back. We don't gotta force nothing. No. Loud out of range. Another one. Gotcha. Gotcha. 
tried throwing the body, <laughs> the body kick in range. I think he expected me to back up. Could have been the hectic too. Gave him a bit of a taste of his own medicine and planted myself there to get the knocked off. Honestly, that's a pretty good, uh, that's a good two fights to kind of close it out. UFC 300, we have so many fights that we got to showcase. So hopefully you guys enjoy this Jalen Turner showcase. We got plenty more coming. Remember 17, I appreciate all y'all. UFC 300 is coming soon and it's going to be a great card.